Well, back home on the Lal Street, the market ended with cuts of about half a percent on Friday. The Nifty gave up the 10,800 mark to end below the 200-day moving average. Sensex 2 was 450 points off the day's high, but managed to close to above the level of around 36,000. Amongst the broader markets, the bank slipped 300 points from day's high to end with cuts of half a percent led by ICICI Bank, while the mid-caps also tumbled in trade with a cut of around 1.5%. But that was about last week. This week, we have a whole host of cues to track, and Nigel is telling us more about that. Nigel, tell us, how does the picture look like this morning? Well, this morning, at least you have the U.S. markets that saw a temporary relief rally because that shut down, at least temporarily, it's off uh, it's uh, off so that's a uh, great news that's been pushed that's pushing the can down the road so no problem in US markets but in Friday's trading session the nifty ended with cuts importantly we ended below crucial support levels. so the 200 DMA was broken convincingly and then we ended closer towards the 50 to around the 100 DMA three problems really one was in fact Z stocks they sold off so Z was one of the big losers Maruti came out with a howler and also you had you know that entire probe in terms of Chanda Kochar that's what really spoiled the party in terms of ICICI Bank, Alteryx Cement as well, a day post the numbers didn't look very, very good. So let's take you through individually those points. Z Group stocks, they sold off. Z Entertainment, Dish TV, SL Pro Pack. Earnings reactions, Maruti's numbers didn't look good at all. Margins and multi-quarter low. And Alteryx Cement, well, Shree Cement delivered a pleasant surprise. Everyone thought maybe Alteryx Cement as well come out of the good set of numbers. That wasn't to be. And if you're looking at the headline index, you'll say we ended with a cut of around 50 points. But in the broader markets, there was a lot of pain. By the end of the day, though, the report that came out wasn't very, very bad because the FIs, they were buyers. It was quite encouraging, actually. So they bought more than 650 crores odd. The DIs, they were mild sellers to the tune of around 150 crores odd. And if you're looking at the FIs in the FNO market, well, on index futures, they added longs, close to 10,000 long contracts, while they unwound some of those short positions. Getting into an expiry week, that was quite good to see. And if things go wrong, they're buying puts non-stop on the downside. But they're also writing some calls telling you that 11,000 mark is going to be a crucial resistance level. And that's where, in fact, the 11,000 you know, uh, 11, call, that has the highest open interest on the downside. The 10,800 put, that has the highest open interest. And let's just pull up you know, the highs of the, last, uh, 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 of the last nine trading sessions. You'll see seven out of nine times, the Nifty has gone to 10,900 odd mark. All the last nine trading sessions will come up for you. And seven out of nine times, we have crossed the 10,900, but we have failed to go towards that 11,000 odd mark, telling you the crucial resistance at around 10,900 to around the 11,000 uh, mark odd. We started off the show by telling you it's a big, big week, and that's likely to be. You have quarter three earnings that will continue to pour in. Interim budget will be presented by the current ruling NDA government, so we'll keep an eye out on that. And you have FNO expiry as well on Thursday. So big, big week, Anisha, that's coming up. You know, we'll be thanking our stars that we're at least closer towards the 10,800 mm -hmm. mark. But it's just a quick uh, graphic should come up for you. The Nifty year to date appears that it's more or less flattish. You know, if you pull up the Nifty, but Reliance Industries, that's up 11%. Infosys is up 11%. While if you look at the Nifty, well, that's trading more or less flattish. If you pull out these two, we are actually at around 10,600 rather than the 10,800 that we're currently uh, sitting at. So thank God for both these two heavyweights. And also, if you're looking at the broader markets, there is pain yet again. The Nifty is down only 7 tenths of a percent. The mid cap and the small cap index are down between 4.5 to around 5%. So clearly, more pain in the broader markets, stripped of Reliance Industries and Infosys, it wouldn't look very, very good. Okay, so yes, thanks to the heavyweights of Reliance and Infosys who have managed to hold on in one end for the Nifty. But as you mentioned, the pain for the broader markets looks more acute. But that was about the macro picture, Nigel. But for today, of course, there are a lot of stocks to focus on. Top of the list is the entertainment industry. Absolutely. Sure? You started off the show by saying Z could be the stock of the day. It could definitely be the stock of the day. A couple of things are going to be working out here. Can they restrict those pledge sales from getting sold? That's going to be very, very important. There's an earning call as well at, as a, at around 8.30 odd. Over the weekend, the promoters have said they have nothing to do with regard to those reports uh, or by the wire. And they're confident of finding a strategic partner. That's important. 8.30 a.m., we here at CNBC TV 18 will be tracking that call very, very closely. And in fact, we'll hear out what the management has to say. Uh, but late last evening, the SL Group has said that they've reached an agreement with lenders with regard to those pledge shares. And that's the most important statement because 
restricting any more pledge shares getting sold in the market is going to be the key focus today. Shifting focus to some bright spots, LNT, those numbers look quite good. Strong execution, that led to around a 24% growth out there. And more importantly, they've retained that 10 to 12% growth in terms of order inflow. So great news out there. Kotak has a buy rating, target price of 1500 odd. Morgan Stanley, they have an overweight rating as well. Target price of closer towards 1800 rupees. So good going on LNT. That could bat for the bulls today. Maruti, though, the numbers didn't look good at all. The stock saw a sharp correction. Even after the sharp correction, stock trades at around 22 to around 24 times or thereabouts. City, they've cut their EPS estimates. They've cut their target price as well. So we'll keep an eye out on Maruti to see post the reaction what happens to that stock. Results today, a whole host of them. Big ones, Tata <coughs> Power, Bank of India, as well as Sriram Transport and Escorts as well. So some of them should be running across uh, for you on the screen. Those are about numbers, but take a break from numbers. Mindtree is going to be a stock because the income tax has said that uh, uh, VG Siddhartha cannot go ahead and sell those shares. Uh, and in fact, uh, those sh restriction of those sh shares are, um, you know, are currently restricted. So we'll keep an eye out on that. But sources tell us that uh, VG Siddhartha as well as CCD, they're in talks and they're going to appeal against this IT order. And maybe the deal could still go through. So we'll keep an eye out on Mindtree. That stock will definitely be in focus. Lupin's going to be in focus because they came out over the weekend. They said that, that the Pitampur Unit 2 uh, you know, inspection, that's over. Six observations out there. But there is pain, Anisha, even in the broader markets. Everyone was looking at Z. If we're looking at DHFL, then the disbursements number was horrid. It was down mm. more than 90% odd. So pain in the HFCs, housing finance companies. But Mahindra and Mahindra Finance, those numbers look good. Asset quality improved. The NI growth as well was better than anticipated. Anticipated. Gru Finance, though, that's what missed estimates in terms of the NIs. Sriram City Union Finance as well, missed estimates. So a lot of earnings reactions is what we're going to see. Good results on a year-on-year -year basis. Aztec as well as Sare Gamma. Weak results, Gati, Neil Kamal and V2 Retail. So we'll keep an eye out on all these stocks. And given that it's expiry week, you have to keep an eye out on all those stocks that are coming into FNO Ban and going out of FNO Ban. Phew, that was a very long Ooh. list and looks like it has been a very, very <laughs> heavy weekend in terms of the news flow with a lot of earnings and a lot of other news flowing in for a lot of stocks. We'll do one thing, we'll keep a track of all of this for you. Time for a short pick. Up next, we'll discuss a lot more in terms of the top team of Nomura and what they are expecting from the RBI and the budget going forward.